Hey guys, women can have sex whenever they want. If you don't believe me, start a Tinder account with a 1 out of 10 girl and watch the simps checking in. If women wanted to, they could have sex 24-7. The second group that has access to unlimited sex are gay men. Again, if you don't believe me, start a Grinder account with a 5 out of 10 guy and see how many matches you get. It might be a little harder for gay men to find someone, since the majority of the population isn't gay, but an average guy won't have any problems getting laid. Now, if women can have as much sex as they want and gay men can have as much sex as they want, one might expect that the amount of sex per capita is equal between those groups. That's of course not the case. Men have a much higher sex drive and therefore more intercourse. In 2019, there were around 35,000 new HIV infections. Of those infections, 23,000 occurred from male to male sexual activity. However, only 3% of the population are gay or lesbian, which means only around 2% are gay. In other words, one out of 50 people is responsible for two-thirds of HIV infections. Gay men are not different than straight men in terms of sex drive. If heterosexual men could have as much access to women as gay men have to men, the numbers would be in proportion. What we see is that the discrepancy between the amount of sex men get compared to the amount of sex women offer is enormous. Gay men are 3,000% overrepresented. Even if we would assume that only 2% of the population is above an 8, those 2% of chads would still get mugged into oblivion by the gay guys. For Engels this means that not only the standard to get access to women in the first place is much higher, also the amount of available intercourse is lower even for top-level men. You can also see this when comparing corn viewership. Men are significantly overrepresented, and the corn that is mostly consumed by women is female to female corn. There is also a phenomenon called dead lesbian bedroom. Studies revealed that the group that has the least sexual activity are lesbian couples. Gay couples have, of course, the most action. Just another indicator of the vastly different sex drives between the genders. There are also other interesting trends, for example, that Asian people barely have HIV at all. Maybe my good friend Mr. Anti-Bully will tell you why.